Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Erit Academy. Warm greetings of the day and happy Shri Ram Naomi to all of you. This is a very short video where we will discuss about the cultural importance of Shri Ram Naomi, why do we celebrate, what all we should know from prelims point of view and where all we can use the informations and learnings in our essay and ethics. Lord Shri Ram was born in Ayodhya in Koshala Kingdom during Treta Yuga. So according to Hindu mythology, we have four yugas. The first one being the Satyug, second Treta Yug, where Lord Shri Ram was born in that period. Then we have Dwapar Yug, Lord Krishna belongs to that period and Kalyug, we belong to Kalyug. The whole story and the, uh, the lessons from the Rama's life has been written and explained by Valmiki, Sage Valmiki in Ramayana. Sage Valmiki is also known as Adi Kavi, that is the first poet. And Raman is known as the Adi Kavya, that is first poem. It was written in Sanskrit. Time period is not exactly clear when it was written. But Raman has inspired other regional uh, 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 language. In regional languages, Raman has been written and it has inspired generations. The famous being the Kamban Raman, written by Kamban in Tamil language in 12th century. Then we have uh, Eknath's Ramayana is there, which is known as Bhav, Bhavarth Ramayana. It was written in 16th century in Marathi language. And the famous one, Ram Charitraman is written by Tulsi Das in 16th century in Av Avdi language. Like this, we have various versions of Ramayana in different languages. Time to time, people have written the interpretation. Not only that, since ages, we have been performing Ram Leela, Based on the stories of Ramayana, it is a traditional theatre which has been, which we have been seeing since childhood as well. UNESCO has given it a recognition under Intangible Cultural Heritage List in 2008. This, that, this was the first one to be mentioned or recognized under the list. Today, we have 14 such Intangible Cultural Heritage uh, ha which has been given the recognition and has been um, mentioned in the list. The latest one being the Durga Puja in Kolkata, which was recognized by UNESCO in 2021. Now, other than this factual information, what, what all we should know, the lessons, the learnings from the life of Sri Ram, which will be helpful for us in ethics paper and essay paper. In ethics, GS paper 4, we know that there is a topic, determinants of ethics. In that determinants of ethics, we read how religion or the mythology shapes the values or it shapes the ethics and guide our behavior. In ethics, religion plays important very role, plays very important role. So, religion being important, very, plays very important role, we know, and Ram, or for that matter, Mahabharat, we learn values from there. So, what all values are important which from Sri Ram, which we should uh, learn, we should carry those values. First being the equanimity. Equanimity in simple terms, it is emotional intelligence. That we should know how to balance ourselves. Whenever there is a tough situation, then we should know how to react. Whenever we are in a good situation, good time or bad time, we should know how to balance. Sri Ram, when he was sent on exile for 14 years, he didn't oppose, he didn't react to it. Rather, it was he respected the wishes of her mother Kaki. He respected the promise of his father and he went on exile. Even when after 14 years, he was crowned as a king of Ayodhya, he was not jumping out of happiness. So he knew how to be rooted, be it good time or bad time. This is what we should learn from Ram. Nowadays, as a student, we see failures and we, we give up. So that, that is what we have to learn. Second quality which we should learn from Ram is modesty. He knew about his powers. When he went to Sita's swamber, he knew that he can easily break the Shiva's Dhanush. But he was waiting for direction. He was waiting for orders of his guru. And he was waiting for the right time so that, okay, he will go and his, he will display the power. Not only that, he also knew because he, he, was, he was so good in arch, archery skills that he knew that he can easily kill Ravan. But he was waiting for a right time to teach Ravan the life lessons. Like this, the other qualities which we should learn and which is very important for present generation is respecting elders and respecting promises, keeping our promises. He used to respect his father, mother, his teachers. Like 
when he was sent on exile he accepted what his uh, what were, were the desires of his mother and his father even when he was on exile after the death of his father bharat came to to the forest and he asked him now no more father is there why don't you come and become the king of ayodhya and rule uh, rule there he denied that he told no i gave promise to my father and i have to keep that i cannot deny that i cannot go away from that right so these are the qualities other qualities like equality he always considered his subjects the people in his kingdom equal he treated them like family he worked for them he cared for them that is what famously called by gandhi ji as ram rajya gandhi ji envisaged a ram raj scenario for india where he wanted that the ram raj should be based on the pillars of justice equality fairness transparency and accountability so this is how we should learn the lessons from his life and we should use it not only for prelims ethics or essay exam but also these values should guide our behavior on day to day basis and in our decision making thank you